Noah Bolter from Richmond has been given a rough conduct charge, which was his first offence, for his hit on Alex Sexton from the Gold Coast Suns. This happened in the first quarter. The AFL graded this as careless conduct, low impact and high contact. For this, he has been given a $3,750 fine, which can be reduced down to $2,500 with an early plea. I think Bolter is actually very lucky for this. As you can see, he does connect with the shoulder and does go a little bit high to the head. This could have been very close to the Simpkin one. If he was just a couple inches higher, he would have definitely hit him in the head and I think we'd be talking a week or plus suspension rather than just a fine. So I think Bolter should count his lucky stars here. He's very close to copying a couple week suspension for that. In this next one, you can see Mason Cox has bumped the GWS Ruck coach in Shane Mumford. And I think if this was anyone else besides an ex-AFL player, if this was someone who obviously isn't the character of who Mumford is, I think we'd be talking some sort of monetary fine. And that might be a little bit extreme, but I don't like this. I don't like the opposition touching a different team's coach in the middle of the ruck. He's clearly pushed him. It's it's not forceful or anything, and he definitely wouldn't have hurt him, but there's no reason where he should ever be touching an opposition coach. I just don't like this. George Hewitt from Carlton and Lockie Neal from the Brisbane Lions have both been charged with striking. This was their first offence. This happened in the third quarter of their match. George Hewitt has been charged with careless conduct, low impact, high contact, which is a sanction of $3,750, reduced down to $2,500. And Lockie Neal has been charged with intentional conduct, low impact, body contact. The only difference between the two is George Hewitt was classed as careless and Lockie Neal was classed as intentional. They received the same fine. I think this is about right. Shouldn't be any suspensions. Should have been free to Lockie Neal in the first instance, in my opinion. I think McInerney from the Swans is very lucky here that he hasn't copped a fine. I would assume it's just a monetary fine here for his elbow to the guts of Max Gorn. I couldn't find anything about if this was reported or not. It was a payday 50 metre penalty, which is totally fine, but it's off the ball. Max Gorn didn't see it coming and he's hit him in the guts with an elbow. So it could have been a fine, but I guess it's nothing. Wasn't able to find a, another angle of this one here, but Nick Vlosten is probably a little bit lucky that there wasn't more vision available here. As you can see, the tackle on Matty Rao was quite forceful. A dangerous tackle in the back is the right call here, but it does almost look like Matt Rao's head hits the ground, which in that case, if that is a dangerous tackle, then he probably could have got a fine for it at least. And we have seen it last year where this one has copped a suspension. Anyway, that's it for this week. It's a very short round. Let's hope it is a fantastic game on Thursday. Can't wait. Footy's back. Love it. Thanks for watching.